Hi there. So last session we looked at how we can use an accumulator, uh, like you can see here, um, to total up the tally up, uh, the number of correct answers to a quiz. And we were using also conditional statements. Conditional statement, what's that? Conditional statements are where we use if, and in this case else, uh, to determine um, what will happen if a user does um, type something in. So for instance, the case uh, if the user's answer to something was equal to the answer we were looking for, then do this. Else, do something else. Okay, so we use if and else when we've got two things we're trying to find the answer to. Um, so what we're going to look at today is how do we do it so that if we have multiple answers uh, to a question, or in, in some respects it's like multiple choice. Um, so yeah, we're going to look at, uh, and we use a concept called elif to do that. So you can have if and then elif and you can also have else all right when we want to check um, something or what we call a conditional statement okay what do I mean well once again as usual we're going to just dive in because that's the easiest way to learn um, so what I'm going to do is show you some code that I've typed in here and I will put a link to this code and that will be uh, below this video okay so just click on that link and you'll be able to go directly to this code to see that. Um, okay, so what have I got here? Well, just to show you and demonstrate what I'm on about here, okay, well, I'll explain a bit more of this, but I can have a situation where um, I'm giving a user some multiple choice, some four choices to something. I've got A, B, C, and D. I'll explain it, but we can use um, if whatever they've answered is equal to A, do this, elif, answer is equal to B, do this, okay? Elif answer is equal to C, do this. And Elif answer is equal to D, do this. And we can use as many Elifs as we want, okay, if we have multiple situations, all right? Um, what I would note uh, that's important for you to understand is at the end of each if or Elif, we always must use equals equals when we're comparing something. And we always must have the colon, those two dots at the end, okay, and an indent afterwards, all right? So that's the format. So let's see, let's work your way through this and explain this. Okay, first thing, at the stop of the, uh, ta start, with, uh, start of this code, uh, I've got something called import time. Now time, uh, there are many modules. Um, these are things you can import into Python that do for fancy stuff. Okay, and whenever you use them, these modules, they must be imported at the start. So I'm going to use time um, in this little game thing I've made here. Um, and I'm, this is to pause the game at a certain point. Okay, and I'll show you in a minute. But we always do any modules that are imported, go to the top. Okay, I've got this here. This is going to act as an accumulator. All right, so it's a variable called experience points and that it's going to tally up experience points through my game that I'm making here uh, as we go along. So we'll keep every time I do something, I might lose or I might gain experience points, and this is going to keep a total, running total. Okay, uh, this is kind of setting scene. I'm lost in the dark woods. Okay, this bit of code, time.sleep, this is what's linked to this module. I couldn't use this, time.sleep, if I hadn't imported it. What does it do? Well, time.sleep1 will pause the code for one second. Okay, so we have our pause, and then we have out jump to goblin, in the backpack you have, and we have four options. A, sword, B, chocolate, C, brick, D, rabbit. And just to remind you again, this backslash N, that drops it down a line. So you can kind of see here when the code is run, this side here, Okay, A sword, B chocolate, that is because I put this backslash N after each option like this, all right? It just keeps it tidy. Okay, so I'm now gonna ask for input from the user, all right? So that's what this code is. Um, which would you like to use, A, B, C, or D? Whatever they type in, whatever they input is then stored in the variable answer, all right? So here are my conditional statements. If answer, if what they've typed in is equal to A, we'll look at this, colon, indent, and then print, the goblin laughs you and gobbles you up, all right? Be aware that when we come down to the next option, 
elith here, okay? It is not indented, so it's in the same line as all of them down here. All the eliths and ifs must be in the same line, okay, like this. But after each elith, we have answer equals equals b colon and then whatever that we want to happen if they've answered b must be indented so can you see here here all of this that belongs to this answer is indented so we have an answer here okay and we're also going to change the experience point so look if they fall in uh they they loved us they kissed us the goblin did okay we're going to get some experience points so it's experience points equals whatever it was before zero to start with plus 10 sorry about <laughs> where you are sorry um uh okay and then we've also got another elif okay answer equals c and it's going to do this and elif answer equals d it's going to do this and we can have as many options as we want we could keep continuing we could have given lots of options but i think this is a reasonable amount just four different options and finally at the end here, I've got a print statement uh, because I wanted to display the total number of experience points at the end here as well. Okay, so just to remind you again, you have, and then experience points here, okay, like this here. All right, so let's just run that. You're lost in the dark woods, okay, little pause it did there. Uh, sword, chocolate, brick or rabbit, so I'm going to choose um, the rabbit, so that's D. Um, Goblin grabs the rabbit and professes undone alive for it. They run off together into the sunset. You have 20 experience points. Okay, so that was this one running here. And that's it. So, my challenge to you is get this code, all right? It's in the link below. Um, and you, I'd like you to try and change it a bit for your own sort of story. Uh, you can have your own options. And what I'd like you to try and do is continue with the story because at the moment you see it ends here. So what would be nice is if we carried on, come out of that indent, okay? And we have another situation such as, um, okay, you uh, wander off into the woods further and find a fairy, okay? So what will happen then? Well, perhaps the fairy might give us a challenge of some sort of puzzle and we would have various options uh, we could answer and maybe only one of those options will allow us to uh, survive and carry on on our adventure and the other ones uh, maybe we die or maybe we just minus some experience points okay and can can continue you don't always have to die it could be just that we get penalized uh, and suffer losing experience points if we get the wrong answer okay uh, so i'd like you to try and carry on with that story if you'd like to do something different you could turn this into a quiz and have like multiple choice answers to quiz questions um, where you're using A, B, C or D.